Hello everybody. So today I'm here to show you the animation of multiplication table by using GeoGebra. So here you can see. So I'm showing you to the multiplication table of two by using the animation of GeoGebra. So let me start it. So here you can see. So this is the animation. So you can pause it, you can reset it, and you can show it. So two ones are two. So you can see here there is only one two and it's equal to two. And similarly, if you move on two twos are four, means there are two twos and you can see it here one two three four similarly two threes are six so you can see here one two three there are three twos and the make six one two three four five six so how to make such animation so today uh, we are going to learn this animation so i hope you will enjoy it so let's begin so you might be thinking it works only for multiplication of two only it's not true so you can put your any value let me put 15 so look here you can see so you can put any number here so let it be uh, 19 So it works for any value so let's know how to prepare such animation so for that let me go on new window so here goes my new window <coughs> so here I am going to omit this access part now what we need to do is first of all we need to create two sliders so here let the name of the slider be a and its minimum value is 1 and here maximum value is 10 and its increment is 1 similarly let me take another slider let it be b and it's same the minimum value is 1 and its maximum value is 10 and its increment is 1 so after we have met the slider now I'm going to make a line segment so segment with given length okay so here <coughs> the length will be slider A okay now if I move the slider the length of the segment E of also goes on changing so now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw a perpendicular line so let me draw a perpendicular line that's perpendicular to AV so it's perpendicular line so here I have drawn two perpendicular lines one passing from point A and another passing from point B so now let's move on circle and let me draw a circle here and its center is A and its radius is B so let me put here B okay so here I can see there is the intersection part so here this is the intersection part and let it be C now let me draw a parallel line that passes through point C and is parallel to line AV so here we go so here we have got another point of intersection so it's D so let me omit all these unnecessary stuffs
okay now let me draw a polygon by joining these four points and here let me hide the vertices now let me hide the name of the segments okay and let me <coughs> change the color of the quadrilateral so let me go on object property color let me make it a little more darker uh, let be let its color be this no no okay so let it be this one so now so after we have done this now we don't need this graphic anymore so i am omitting this grid also so now here uh, let me put this input bar above okay so now here we need a command here and that command goes like this so this is the command sequence and here we need the sequence of segments so we have written your segment and that segment it starts from point a plus k so here in place of k you can put i j l so any variable that doesn't exist in our GeoGebra and then we are moving through one unit so one comma zero and we are moving towards c so c plus k and same command and bracket closed k comma one comma a so let me copy it and here let me paste it in the input bar okay so i have got it so you can see here uh, a green line you have seen here let it be black in color and uh, let it be a little thicker okay so now you can see here i have made the sequence of e squares that moves horizontally now let me move vertically so for that uh, the command is approximately similar here our starting point is a and we are moving towards b so you can see here so this point is a so sequence segment so all are approximately similar just here since we are moving horizontal sorry vertically so we are putting here 0 comma 1 So others are approximately similar. So let me copy it and let me paste it here in the input bar. Okay. So let me check it whether it works or not. So before that, let me make it darker, black in color. Subject property color. So black in color now thickness 9 okay so let me check whether it works or not yeah it's working so you can see it here so it's working 
so we are about to finish the task now we have made the animation of the table multiplication table so now here we are we have to work on the here input part so let me write here a text so let me write here multiplication table so you can decorate it also just now i am just writing it simply okay so multiplication table so after that I'm going to write here multiplication table of by using input box So let me link the object let it be a okay so now let me make this box look a little smaller object property so style it's 20 let it be 2 okay uh, let it be a little bigger okay so here let's large sized and here let me change the color okay so now I can hide this slider no need to put it here okay so here so if i put here two then i will get the multiplication table of two similarly if i put here three then i will get the multiplication table of three so in this way you can see it here so it's working so after we have completed it now here i need to show the display of multiplication so for that so I will multiply a and B okay so here it is e so now I am moving on text box so here I'll put the object a and then multiply and then B and then equals to and an object E so you can see the preview here okay so here let it be bold let it be extra large let me change the color okay so now here I need to put some buttons here if I put your button then it will be look a little good <coughs> so uh, let me put the buttons here okay so let it be on so yes capsule yes trt start animation 
then big bracket so this animation is for b so b comma true okay that's working so now so I'm going to make another button for pause so start animation and then big bracket and it's false okay let me check whether it works or not yeah it's working so now so let me put the reset button here so reset and then start start animation false and here b equals 1 ok and here so let me put it in increasing order let me decrease its speed to 0 0.5 ok now so let me check whether it works or not that's working yeah so reset button is also working on and then pause and reset yeah so in this way so we can prepare a animation for multiplication table so here let me hide this b also now we don't need it anymore so let me place it a little bit here and here you can write your prepared by so any design you want to give but the basic part is this much only so this is how we can make the multiplication table so i hope you enjoyed the video so this much for today thank you very much